Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today we're going to machine some copper solid round bar. And um, what we're going to make are uh, breech caps for the Crossman 2240. Okay, and uh, they just go on the back like so. So we're going to make a few different shapes. Now I do have some of these already up on my website for sale in stainless steel and brass. But uh, I thought I'd show you about, you know, the characteristics too of uh, machining copper on a lathe and um, how it all works out because it's a little bit different material uh, to work with than steel or brass is or bronze. Um, so we're going to show you how, how copper machines and we're just using a straight uh, high speed steel cutter for this. And um, our first one that we're going to make is actually going to be a pellet shape like a flat face pellet. And um, so we're going to start this process and, you know, just uh, give you little bits and pieces here and there along the line and um, call this a bit of a how-to video at the same time as uh, showing you uh, about machining copper and um, how it machines. So here we go. So the first thing we're doing is we're just skimming uh, a couple of thousands off the diameter because we need to get this sort of same diameter going on uh, before we can start machining the rest of it. Let's check, see. Okay, good, perfect. So now we've got the same diameter as the back of this cap. So the next thing that we're going to do is we've got to turn down this end in here. Okay. So what we do with that is we've pre measured already on the, the other set of calipers here. I'll just show you. So this is how we're going to get our depth that we need for the main pin and we bring that right about right about there perfect and when you you look at the difference here I mean this is how you set it up to measure it from the bottom so we make sure we get the same depth now what we're going to do is going to mark our spot going in a couple of thousands. So now we know where we're going to stop at. So then we'll just place our cutter back on until it stops. And then we're going to take ten thousandths at a time off the diameter. So five on the dial. There we go. Oop. So we're doing okay at 350 RPM for doing this, so let's kick it up a notch to 550.
Okay, so we'll stop there for a minute. We'll check. And you can feel it's a little bit on the rough side here, right? So what, what we'll do is we'll do just a couple of regular passes just to see if it, you know, without touching the dial, just see if it smooths it up any. Because copper does flex, you know, as you're cutting it. So it can create a bit of a weird dig on it, which is why you need to take lighter cuts, even though this copper is half an inch uh, thick in diameter. Um, you still want to take lighter cuts with it because of how copper can flex. And you can tell it's been doing some flexing because I've already done a couple of passes. It's still chewing material off of there. So that's where you gotta kind of be really careful when you're pushing into copper, even though it's thicker, it does have that flex to it. This is basically the same type of copper as you'll find in your house. Um, the stiff copper wire, you know, like the, the what do they call it, 12-3 and 10-3 uh, type gauges of wire. This is like really thick stuff though, but it still has a tendency to flex. Um, no matter how good your machine is, it's still gonna make the copper flex. So you gotta watch how deep you take these cuts. But you can see after a few passes, the surface is smoothing out. So that's good. Um, so when we get closer to our finished um, diameter, we're gonna take a bunch of multiple passes to get to that diameter. And then this just little teeny movements at a time, very little um, to get to that final diameter that we need for this end here to fit into the back of the breech. So uh, we'll stop the video here. I'll do some more. And then when we get close to that last and final diameter, we'll fire the camera back up again and show you where we're at. And then uh, we'll just keep going from there. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so now we're uh, getting pretty close to that final diameter. So now what we're gonna do now is take a few uh, finishing passes just for light tunes. We're gonna check it after each pass uh, to see if it's gonna fit inside uh, the hole in the breech where it has to go. And I've kicked the speed up to 970, and I've noticed that the machining characteristics are much, much smoother now uh, with even each um, uh, 10 thou uh, off the diameter. Okay, so uh, one final pass. So just zoom out a little bit. So now, so the way, check this out, and we have a perfect fit with almost no play, which is where we want it. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cut a bevel into the edge here, and I cut a bevel into the front. It takes off the sharp edges. So we're going to do that at 970, and we're just going to take going to lightly stroke the edges here. smooth surface there so we're still going to be buffing this later on too now the next thing we want to do is we want to shape this into a pellet so to do that 
We need to change the angle of our cutter so we can cut in a skirt. And we're going to do this at, uh, we're going to start this out at 350 and see how well it does at 350. And you want to leave a bit of a skirt edge at the bottom, so you got to kind of take your best guess on lining up your cutter. So, and every cutter is going to be a little different on how it works, um, because you may have a different width cutter, so you're going to have to uh, make your changes accordingly. change our, our angle a little bit here pellet head is on there good. So we're going to go up to that first main cut that we started before. We're going to make a little bit longer. Okay, so before we do our parting cut on this, we want to clean up as much as we can of the copper on the inside and we got to bevel this edge in here too. So again, uh, we're going to take this 970 and we're going to use the file.
So that's looking really good. So uh, the next thing we want to do, of course, is our parting cut. So we'll have to change our cutter. I'm not going to take a break on this one and pop back because, you know, we're just about done at that point. So now what you want to do is next is decide how thick of a pellet head you want on this. Um, usually the blade thickness on the parting cutter on the parting tool is actually pretty good. But if you accidentally make it a bit thicker it's okay because you're going to have to do some tweaking uh, that I'm about to show you next. So we don't want to part this at too high of a speed. So uh, let's try this at 210 RPM and see how it cuts. See if we can bring this up to 350. So we've cut that off. I'll uh, let that cool for a minute and then we'll come right back. <laughs> okay, so we've got this thing back here and remounted on the chuck. Now you're going to notice there's a little bit of an excess uh, piece of copper sticking out here, a little tit. And we're going to cut that off, we're going to face it off. And then we're going to do our, our final bevel edge on the front of the pellet, on the shape. Uh, so it takes away all the sharp edges. We'll give her a quick little polish with the sandpaper and scotch bright, and then that'll be ready for drilling. And uh, when I'm ready to start drilling, I'm going to make a few of these, because um, I've got oh, about a couple inches of copper left. Um, when I'm ready to drill them all, I'll actually do that stage, and uh, you'll see you know, how we have them set up for drilling. So we're going to do this at uh, 970 RPM for the facing on this. And I do this because it does make a much smoother cut.
Android seems to have disappeared on us. Oh, there it is. Okay guys, so here's how she's looking so far. I've got her in the back of the breech there. There we go. So it's a very nice fit. There's that, there's like very, very, very little play, which is what you want. So when we go to drill this, we'll set the breech up into the drill press and line up the drill bit. And then we're going to hold this in and then just whoosh, drill right through and clean up the excess and then uh, take her to the buffer after that. So I'm going to make a few more of these and uh, use up the rest of this bar stock. And uh, there'll be different shapes and stuff. And of course these will be posted up too eventually. Uh, but um, anyway, so so that's where you're, you're at here. And that's basically how you make a pellet. Um, but also a pellet that's a breech plug uh, for the uh, 2240 and uh, 1377 breeches. So any 22XX or 13XX gun that uses these particular breeches, these uh, plugs work on. And uh, I thought the copper would be kind of a nice little change. Um, it looks a lot like brass, but it's actually copper. So anyways, um, we'll return when it's time to drill and take you to the last portion of that and uh, we'll see you soon. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, um, we're at our next stage for drilling the uh, holes into the breech plugs. So we've got our breech all set up, we got everything lined up and uh, for this you gotta have the perfect, absolute perfect size drill bit that would normally fit the uh, factory breech plug it has to be an absolute per perfect fit and uh, then you just line everything up and you're uh, right to go so we got six all together of that small piece of copper so we got a pointed pellet we got uh, a couple that look like uh, hollow points hollow point bullets more so than a hollow point pellet and we got two flat pellets. And we've got one just basic plain Jane jobby. And that's it. So we got six of these things to drill. Now to drill these, uh, being copper, um, you uh, do machine them better at a higher speed and using cutting fluid. And uh, use the same cutting fluid when you're going to drill them too. And drilling operations go much better. Um, I've got my drill press set at, uh, I believe it's 540, uh, yep, 540 RPM. So what we've got to do here is we've got to hold this piece in steady and then start drilling at the same time without letting it move or spin. So you've got to start out gentle until you just rest it on top. Then we just start lightly pushing in, just lightly and it'll cut it. So you got to make sure too, you've got a really good sharp drill bit for this. One thing you'll find is they'll uh, stick in a little bit, so we got a cure for that. Take a piece of leather and 
this way we don't damage our part. Give her a couple of twists. And pulls out and it breaks off the excess. And then we can clean this up on the lathe after. Give it a bit of a sanding in this area. And uh, clean out the hole and she's good to go. So we'll do another one. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and uh, we'll come back when it's time to do the polishing on these and we'll show you how nice these things are going to look all polished up. So uh, this is kind of a combination, you know, how-to video for, you know, how to turn copper but also uh, how uh, I make these uh, breech plugs, so kind of a how-to make breech plugs thing. So anyways, I will be right back with the uh, polishing uh, part next. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back again. Alright, so this is our finishing off segment. And we're going to polish up one of these for you. To uh, show you how these things turn out nicely polished. I've got the drill press set at uh, about 2100 RPM. And what I do is I mount these things into a drill chuck just by hand tightening so I don't mar anything and then I can go in and clean these up so you can get an idea what this looks like right now. Okay, clean 
calculator with soap and hot water, but I call that done. That looks really, really nice. So well, that kind of concludes our video of uh, how to turn copper on a lathe and uh, giving you some ideas and, you know, getting your best results with it too. And um, the cutting fluid is important if you want to get a nice good finish every time. Um, so, and you don't need much, like just a drop here and there, right? Uh, same thing when you're drilling it, you know, use some cutting fluid, about 540 RPM is more than adequate for this stuff. Uh, polishing takes no time at all, especially if you've pre-sanded and taken some scotch Bright after the sandpaper, it that makes the polishing go that much quicker too, so you spend a lot less time polishing. So, um, you know, whatever you're going to make out of copper or, you know, brass, aluminum, you know, stainless steels, that sort of thing. You know, um, these are different metals to work with all the time. So, you know, you see how they react um, in different projects and whatnot. But um, anyhow, um, that concludes it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave your comments. We'll see you on the next video.